Okay, so today we're at the Southampton Boat Show 2022 and we're on the Sea Tag Yacht Stands, which is what it says up there. And behind me is a Princess 49, but it's not any old Princess 49, it's our Princess 49. And Chris at Sea Tag Yachts has persuaded me to spend some money making it very, very nice. So let's go and have a look and see if it is very, very nice. I said to Chris he could name this boat and actually at first I couldn't actually read it but apparently it says third way and the first way is to buy a new boat the second way is to buy a used boat the third way is to buy a sea tag used boat so this is what we have done on this 2018 Princess 49 so at the back of the boat, it's the standard high-low platform that you'd normally expect. But as soon as we go on board, you'll start to get a flavor of what they've done. So pop on. Okay, so in the cockpit here, the upholstery, have a look at the upholstery, Charles. It's all been redone, look. You've got this lovely material. If you come around here a little bit, look, it's got a lovely texture to it and you've got these lovely details. Beautiful. It's beautiful. And look at this table. This is normally a teak table. God, what are they? I think they need changing. That's seen better days, isn't it, Charles? <laughs> yeah. That's not included anyway. Anyway, Charles, while we're here, look at my socks. Can you, can you tell what they are? Corn starboard. No, they're hamburger and chips. <laughs> 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 hamburger and chips. Um, okay, and you've got this little, look, the Sea Tag Yachts logo here, which is lovely. And these cushions, which look very expensive. How much are these cushions? Okay. Lots of money. Lots of money. I don't think these are included, but well, they might be if you buy it. By the way, this boat is for sale with us on our website at 849950, including all the sea tag works. So we won't do the engine at the moment, but we'll jump into the saloon. Oh, Charles, I've just been told these are pomegranates. I mean, oh, I don't even know what a pomegranate is. Do you eat pomegranates? No. They're getting some new ones anyway. Okay. Um, Right, into the saloon. Now this is where it starts to really wow. This boat has got the light wood gloss, but if you come in from this direction here and look here, this has all been painted to break up the large amounts of wood that this boat was built with only in 2018. The flooring is like a hessian. I don't know if you can zoom in on it a bit there, Charles. It's like a hessian finish. It's really, really, it looks really nice. It feels very light underfoot. And I've been told that you can just lift it up and have the normal flooring, but it looks fantastic. All the details here, like the leather wrapped handrail and you know, the Princess 49 galley. It's a lovely galley, as you can tell. Um, some people moan about the fact that the fridge is only half size. Would that bother you, Charles? No. no. Um, but actually, I think I'd prefer a, a full-size one here, but it's fine. And you can't have everything. You know on a boat, you can't have everything. You have to compromise a little bit. You've got the hob, the, gal, um, the, the oven, and you've got the dishwasher, which are a waste of time. Because look how small the dishwasher is, Charles. Look. I mean, look, what do you get? About six bowls in there. But anyway, people love them. It's their choice. Cutlery here. Oh, we've got one of our little key floats, look. Is that? Yeah. Nice. Um, I'd love the detail that Sea Tag go to. All these pictures and stuff. These aren't included, but it's just all the dressing. It's lovely, isn't it? What's this book here? Great Escapes Mediterranean. Yeah. Crikey, that's heavy. I don't even know what this is. What's that? A picket? Oh, it's a card game. Um, Look at the orange contrast here and the beautiful fabrics used in the sofas. So, so into the saloon area, you've got the normal high-low TV here, as you'd expect on the Princess, but it's just transformed this area with the lovely detailing on the seating, the coffee table. I think that moves around, doesn't it? To put your drink on um, and the contrasting leather with the fabric, it's beautifully done. And then as we go forward, um, the helm seats have all been remade 
and they don't just recover the seats they make the form different the um, internal to give it shape and 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 form if you look here the seat that before would be quite plain has now got lovely um, bolsters built in and side comfort it's nice isn't it it's like, being in a uh, like a bentley yeah it's just uh, that's right so th the lower helm here has got the shout window so let's have a little go over the shout window we're at the boat show it's sunday morning we've picked an early time when it's quiet it's quite a big window charles of course nice breeze Oi, get the fenders in! Crikey, what's that? That's that. God, that sounds good, doesn't it? M Mercury Racing 350, Charles. God, that sounds good. Sounds juicy. We'll shut that window there. Now, the helm, this boat has got a sea keeper as well, so you've got stabilisation. And um, the dashboard, like all princesses, is beautifully laid out. I think if you were really picking holes in it, you'd say, look, I'd have another screen. It looks like there's two screens, doesn't it? But actually there's only one. Yeah. Uh, you've got the bow thruster. You've got the IPS here for people that can't drive boats. And we've got the throttles here for people who can drive boats. Can you drive a boat, Charles? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Do you use the Willy, Willy Body? Both. You yeah. do, do you? Yeah. Right, okay. Which one do you prefer? The controls, but then if you're coming off a fuel key, yeah. sideways, yeah. joystick. Joystick is good. Brilliant. By the way, Charles um, works in Calador with us, and how long have you been working now in boats, Charles? Uh, almost 52 years. 52 years. Crikey, I'm only 48. Right, let's go downstairs. <laughs> okay, so come downstairs and I'll show you the layout. It's a three cabin layout. Before we just go down, you've got all the control switches here, which are all standard switches for domestic batteries and um, the port and starboard batteries, the poo-poo tank, the generator, the shore power. It looks really complicated, but it's not. It's really easy, easy isn't it, Charles? It is. Yeah. So let's start with the forward cabin. So um, SeaTag have worked their magic in here too. We've got a new headboard lining. We've got a new lower headboard lining. You can't see it for all the cushions, but here, this is all lovely neutral colours. Um, I don't know if the bedding's included. Cashmere throws, Beg & Co. Oh, that's going to be expensive. But it's all these lovely details. And doesn't it smell nice? Beautiful. So it smells a like a new boat. Um, TV, music, big wardrobe. This is obviously not being touched, but while I'm here, I'll just show you the wardrobes, which are good. And then we've got a little bathroom behind the door which I'll show you in a second. This is the bathroom, and it's got a Jack and Jill door, so you can use it as a day head. And I do like these things. It's got the Perrin and Rose sinks, Charles. Uh, lovely toilet, lovely shower, and we're always gonna test to see if, I don't think Chris will be very happy that I floss with his Sea Tag Yachts towel, but we've gotta do it, don't tell him. Just gotta see if we can floss here, yeah. We can, yeah, there's plenty of room. It passes the floss test. Just put that back there. Do you want to come in, Charles, and have a look? Is that towel all right, do you think? Is that a flannel? Is that a sea tag flannel? Mm, very nice. Lovely detail, isn't it? Grown alchemist. Really nice bathroom, really nice. Big shower room. Big shower. Probably like a bit of a bigger shower head, to be honest, but it's fine. Lots of mirrors, lots of cupboards, look. Big deep cupboards, what's that? Oh, plaster. That's a big plaster, isn't it? Right, okay, so let's go and see the other cabins. This is the third cabin. This boat has got three cabins, and it's a bunk bedroom, and it's got air conditioning around here. Have a look, Charles. Air conditioning controller and the light switches. Lovely little baby steps for the kids. Um, to be honest, it's a bit pokey, but it does the job. If you've got kids and you want another room, it's fine. Otherwise, you can use it, I found, for luggage, wine, water, and beer. Because it's a great storeroom, because you put stuff up here and the lighter stuff down here. 
So whichever you want to use it for, a third cabin or a storeroom, it's good for both. Okay, so walking aft, you've got the day head there into the Jack and Jill I showed you a second ago. You've got, that goes back up, and now we're going into the master. And SeaTag again have worked their magic in here. You've got uh, changes to the bed heads, the surrounds, the sofa, the back wall. That's lovely, actually, that back wall. Look at that. Very nice, you see it? And this, this here, and again, it smells beautiful. So it just, they do very subtle changes on the newer boats. Can you see that? It's very, very nice. Um, new sock sofa. Now I haven't sat on a sock sofa for a few days, so I'm just gonna, some, some new viewers might not realize what this whole contraption is. This sofa is purely designed, and I will demonstrate, if you'll bear with me, for putting your socks on in the morning, like this. And its sole purpose in life is for that. And then you get up and you enjoy the day. What's wrong with that? Okay, you've got heads in the a master. En suite. En, is the en suite, yeah. But it's a bit smaller than the day head of the master, sorry, the forward one. But have a little peek in there, Charles. It's got a little sink. Little shower. Oh, we can wave at the camera up. And a little toilet. It's very, very nice. Okay, so now we're going to show you the flybridge and the magic continues. Follow me. And I'll show you a bit about the boat show as well. You right, Charles? Yeah. Look at those seats. How cool are they? I love this, um, is it brown? Brown stitching down the middle. It really does look good. So this has all been refurbished up here and the seating's all been redone, fore and aft. And actually, while we're here, Charles, there's the princess stand there. And then just beyond is the Fairline stand because now, as you can see by the back of my jacket, we sell new fair lines. We love princesses still, but we just sell new fair lines. So up here, the seating's again, beautiful. Have a look, Charles, look. Lovely, isn't it? Really nice. I don't think I'd have... The candles, Would no. you? No. Cool. Oh, Galleon are having a meeting. Yeah, they've probably sold they've something. They've probably sold something. Well, they've done well, it's 10 past 10, Charles. <laughs> um, yeah, Galleon are here, and actually while we're here, we can show you some this. Prestige here, Sunseeker over here, and they've got their building there. There's the Princess building. Then we've got all these lovely sailing boats. They're the galleons in front. And then we've got a San Lorenzo. Yeah, if, you, uh, if you've never been to the Southampton Boat Show, I highly, highly recommend it. So let's do a summary of the sea tag. Um, okay, so um, we've, for we've forgotten to ask how much it costs. So. Let's ask one of the SeaTag crew. Who, who knows the cost of this? Wait a second, don't run off. <laughs> Come on, you've got to tell us. You got, who knows how much this costs to do? Okay, wait a second, wait a second. I've got to pass you the furry mic. Hold on a sec. Um, What's your name? Anita. Anita. Anita, nice to meet you, Anita. Okay, lovely to meet you all. Um, yeah, this project uh, took three weeks to refit um, this yacht. Uh, the cost of it is £60,000, so um, a mighty amount of uh, uplift for your money there. I think it's very, very reasonable, um, apart from the fact I've got to pay it. <laughs> That's true, isn't it? I've got that to pay. I have to pay this sixty thousand pounds. Yeah, so any, we'll be chasing him. Chasing down. for the for the money. Um, but anyway, I think it looks fantastic. So Thank well you. done Thank to you. you and the uh, the uh, Sea Tag team. The whole team, yeah, whole team effort. Thank you. Thank you. That's really annoying that voice, isn't it? Yeah. Over everywhere. Right. That's all for now. <laughs> so in summary, this twenty eighteen Princess. 49 flybridge has got three cabins got twin ips 600s um, we sold it new sea tag have worked their magic on it uh, because it's a stock boat of ours we can offer you a part exchange and we can also offer you a warranty 
So you can buy a boat that looks and smells like new at a price of a used boat. So you can part exchange, you can have a warranty, and it looks, I think you'll agree, Charles, it does look beautiful. It looks brand new, looks brand new for, for the price of a used boat. This boat is priced at 850,000 pounds, including UK VAT, UK VAT paid. If you bought the 2022 version of this boat with SeaKeeper and all the options this boat's got, you're probably looking about 1.25 million. So you can have a 400,000 pound saving and just think what you could do with that. Shout engine room. Do the, we do, yeah, quick let's look at the engine, look, at the engine room. Okay, so engine room's down here. Let's turn the lock. Oh uh, dear, um, it's full of um, it's full of Charles. So um, okay. let's uh, abort. 